Today we're talking about drawing a jack-o'-lantern. So in a, another video we talked about drawing a pumpkin and this is going to be very similar except now we're going to put the decorative face on it. So to start with we just think about a sort of circular shape and again like with drawing the pumpkin this does not have to be a perfect circle. Right? So we can do kind of a organic shape here. And with this, I'm going to darken some of this up so you can see the, the outline. So with this, sort of a circular, somewhat circular shape, uh, more organic here on the ends. And when you think about pumpkins and how they grow, very much it. Um, now, for the next part, we need to think about the top. So on the top, we go ahead and put the little stem in and let it curve over to the side. Again, much like with the, the pumpkin. And so we've got our stem. We can make this look a little, maybe a little, look a little rough there. All right. And now we need to work on what do we want this pumpkin to look like. So I know up top we're going to need to have a hole for it to be able to put the candle in, if that's what we're going to do. And so I'll go ahead and put the top on it there. And now for the actual face part. So, you know, think about, do you want it to be happy, sad, scary, what have you. So let's just go and take a typical idea. We need some triangular eyes here. And then maybe the nose gets sort of rectangular. All right, and now for the mouth part. So for the mouth though, I may want to do something a little different. I may want to put some type of teeth in this thing. So I'm gonna come across and maybe make it like a vampire pumpkin. All right. And maybe I just have that for my for my teeth. Now with the sort of jacket liner and face here that's carved into the pumpkin, we go through and kind of figure out where some of our edges are as far as the ridges and things. So I want to put the grooves and things into it that our pumpkin would have before we carve it. And then we want to go back and shape parts of the pumpkin accordingly. So these might get kind of a bump out, if you will. So a little, make little sort of humps here. So if you Think about pumpkins and gourds, they you know, have this very different shape on them than other things. All right. And so with this, I use the basic sort of circular shape we put down. It's more of an oblong shape. And now I've gone through and shaped the pumpkin into what I want. Now the other thing here is can I see any of the insides? And so I can kind of show portions inside the eyes and such. But we need to make sure we're consistent across everything. So if I can see it on one eye, then I have to be able to see it on all of the rest of it. And even when you get down to the mouth, you can still see the inside parts. All right. And so this is our jack o' lantern. Now, I'll come back over this with some pins so I can clean everything up. And I'll go ahead and start up top and get my little stalk inked in. Maybe just do some texture up here. 
right. So here's this part. Now, this stalk is kind of a, a vine, so it's going to have some texture to it. And so I can kind of show that uh, coming up here. All right, and it's going to be, i go ahead and make this area a little bit darker. All right. Now, then I come on out and continue with my shapes that I just drew with the bump outs with the pencil. And so what will happen is once I get this done, I'll go back with an eraser and kind of clean this up as far as getting rid of any of the pencil marks that I can still see once this part is done. So I'm going to go and do my ridges. All right, and so get these kind of worked in. Come through and show the sort of the slice area where the top would be sliced off to put the candle or light in, whichever one you'd be using. And now come through with the rest of the shapes and get these kind of finished up here. All right, again, these are pins I'm using are. This is a brush tip pen, so it can get varying line thicknesses, which kind of help make things interesting. All right. So I've got my vampire jack o lantern here. All right, now one thing I'll do with this, let's go ahead and kind of make it look like it's sort of sitting somewhere. So I'll go ahead and go just, just under this to show a bit of shadow. Color some of this in right quick. I really need a bigger marker for this, but this will do for right now. Let's go ahead and let that wrap all the way around. All right, so we've got our sort of pumpkin here, got a little bit of a shadow going on just enough to try to make it look a little reading then if i want to i can come through and just pull some lines and textures out just to kind of reinforce what's going on here all right so here's the jack o -liner. Um, then what I would do is take a kneaded eraser, or you can even take a regular vinyl eraser. Um, the kneaded would be the, the ones like this that are squishy and can tear them apart and treat them like a stress ball. The vinyl erasers are the white ones come like this, and they're good for picking up stuff without tearing up the paper too bad. Now, for this one, I'm just going to use the kneaded eraser. Kind of go through. Clean out all the line marks here. The pencil. As many as I can here. And then later I would come back and maybe put some color or something on this to kind of continue to clean it up. And then uh, make it look like the jack lantern so I can get the, the highlight of the lights and the eyes and get some shadows around the base and stuff like that but that is drawing a jack-o-liner hopefully you enjoyed if you like these types of videos go ahead and subscribe and i'll have some more coming out soon